And I thought that Nickelodeon could've get any weirder. This is Rab News Ball Animation Bliss, and welcome to another of my animated top series. So, today's top 10 series I'm gonna be talking about today is my top 10 weirdest Nickelodeon bumpers. And before I get into this, here are a few words from the channel. All right, Animaniacs, now let's get on the social media train. Want to chat with us in 100 words or less? Then check out our Twitter account. Want to chat with us within a group? Then check out our Facebook account. Want to get the lowdown on everything dealing with animation on this channel? Then check all of the above. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So because August is Nicktoons month over at Animation Bliss, I have decided to celebrate this month by listing my top 10 weirdest Nickelodeon bumpers. Now when it came to bumpers, Nickelodeon was like the king of all the weird bumpers that came out in the 1990s, even though Cartoon Network was a close second. But I wanted to do this list because there were so many weird bumpers that came from Nickelodeon, and I wanted to go down what I think are the top 10 weirdest bumpers that came on Nickelodeon. But before I get started on this video, here are a few things. First, this list is based off of my personal opinions, so there might be some bumpers on this list that you guys might not agree with. And two, there are some disturbing and creepy imagery throughout this video, so if you don't like disturbing or weird imagery, you might want to proceed this video with caution. And now let's get started with the list. So the Jack in the Box bumper is probably the least weirdest on this list. Even though it's basically showing a crazy looking man that has a Jack in the Box body showing up throughout the screen, I find this bumper to be a bit weird because of the facial expressions of this man and the fact that his body turns into like something you see out of a Jack in the Box all of a sudden. And I just found that to be very weird the way that he's able to transform his body like that and make all of these weird and creepy faces towards the audience. So that's why I consider this bumper to be weird. Stay tuned, Nickelodeon will be right back. This is one of my all-time favorite bumpers that came out in the late 90s on Nickelodeon. So when Nickelodeon started changing up their bumpers a bit for the late 90s, one of the bumpers that they had was this cutout paper dolls bumper where we're shown where this person is cutting up this paper and he's able to make a city out of this paper. And I thought that was really creative and funny to look at. Just the fact that this person's like cutting through the paper and then suddenly they're able to make this big detailed city out of that one little paper cut. So I found this bumper to be really creative and funny at the same time. So I consider the Bug Swap bumper to be one of the weirdest and creepiest bumpers on here. Like it was animated by the same guy who did the animation for Mr. Spim's Cartoon Theater on Cartoon Network as well as some MTV bumpers back in the day. And the creator is Voltaire and his style really shows in this particular bumper. You see the bugs just drinking some orange juice or whatever and then suddenly a fly swat comes in and swats one of the bugs and you see the other bug actually screaming with terror as he sees this and I just found this bumper to be both creepy and weird at the same time. Weird because of how the bugs are drawn and creepy because one of the bugs gets smashed to turn into a Nickelodeon splat log so that's what I really liked about this bumper. So the floaty clay children bumper was one of those bumpers I didn't watch a lot when I was little. Like it rarely came on when I was watching Nickelodeon back in the day. But the fact that we get to see all these claymation kids just sitting in the chair and floating up in the air. And what made this bumper so weird to me was how the children's faces were drawn. Like it looked so smushed together and their facial expressions were so bizarre to look at. And then you have children's skins being colored in different parts of the rainbow. Like there are some children that have blue skin and then some children that have green skin. And I found that to be very bizarre to look at in this bumper. <laughs> Nickelodeon. 
Now this particular bumper actually scared me when I was little. When I first saw this bumper when I was little, I was like, hmm, this is a weird bumper having this character switch their faces as they're being shown throughout the bumper. But then it gets to the part where the character switches their face to have all these multiple eyes. And that creeped me out so badly because I wasn't expecting that. I usually get creeped out when I see a lot of eyes in one character's body or something like that. So the fact that we've seen so many eyes on this one character's face suddenly show up out of nowhere was really creepy to me back in the day and it still has an effect on me to this very day. that the head on the chair bumper was one of the weirdest bumpers I've seen. The fact that we see this little kid's head sitting on this chair and then suddenly the background explodes and you see the Nickelodeon logo being engulfed in flames or something like that. And I just found this bumper to be so strange because it just appears out of nowhere. And then you also have the fact that there's just a head and a chair with no body. So I just found that to be one of the weirdest bumpers on Nickelodeon. <laughs> So the egg and the spoon bumper was one of those bumpers I never seen before when I was little. But after watching this bumper on YouTube several years later, I found out that this bumper was really weird and creepy at the same time. Like it's weird because you have this spoon that suddenly transforms to a chicken and runs away from this egg that turns into a monster. And that's what made this bumper so weird and creepy to me at the same time because the chicken spoon was really weird as the spoon suddenly transformed into a chicken without warning. And then you have the egg turn into a monster and look threateningly at the chicken spoon. So I found this bumper to be both weird and creepy at the same time. So this bumper is what I like to call the teacup head bumper. And it basically has this guy who puts his nose inside a teacup and when he starts sipping the tea through his nose, his head suddenly transforms into a fishbowl. And I have to say this is one of the weirdest bumpers I've ever seen because you just don't understand what's really going on with this particular bumper. Like you don't know why this guy's head transforms into a fishbowl all of a sudden or how he's able to turn his nose into a sippy cup for the tea. So I just found this bumper to be one of the most random and weirdest bumpers I ever seen on Nickelodeon. So if you thought the head on the chair bumper was weird, you should definitely check out this bumper with the head in the box. And what made this bumper so weird was not only the distorted music that's going on throughout this bumper, but the fact that the head just transforms into this really bizarre being. Like one of his eyes is a photorealistic eye and the other one is a CGI cartoonist kind of eye and it just looks so bizarre and creepy and again the music makes everything even more surreal and I found this bumper to be one of the most unsettling and yet the weirdest of them all. Ah yes, the pinch face bumper. Everybody remember that bumper? You know that bumper that had Tom Kenny singing out the Nickelodeon theme and then you see this disembodied face that has just glasses and eyes and a mouth and that's all it has and then you have these hands on the side going nick 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 you remember back in the day where Nickelodeon used to have these hands that go like this and they have little eyes posted on the hands to make it seem like they're human well I have to say that this is probably the creepiest bumper I ever seen and also the weirdest it's creepy because you see this disembodied eyes and the mouth and the goggles just singing Nickelodeon and looking so bizarre and then you have a lot of flashing going on in the room as well as the hands talking on the sides and I pretty much cover why this bumper is pretty weird so I have to say that the pinch face bumper is probably the weirdest bumper that Nickelodeon has ever made. 
So that's my top 10 weirdest bumpers on Nickelodeon. And tell me in the comments down below, have you seen any of these bumpers? And if you have, what were some of the weirdest bumpers that you have seen on Nickelodeon? And what were some other weird bumpers that were not on this list that you guys wanted to tell me about? Please feel free to comment down below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Rowdy's Ball Animation Bliss, and I'll see you guys later.